Hello YouTube, George here, hope you're all well and uh, something a bit different today um, I'm subscribed to Matt there, the Dirty Garage guy and uh, enjoy watching all his stuff and he recently showed the video of Del Boy doing his mudguard mounts that he's putting on the hammer dog shit 2.0 and, you know, I just said I, I'm going to do something here because I made these brackets for mine. And um, this is pretty much the same front end uh, Del Balls has. And um, I want to make something a bit better. Because uh, this cross brace here, that was a an afterthought. And it goes off in there and I, I just not happy with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these off so I'll tighten up take the mud guard off and we'll get a we'll do a paper transfer onto these two mounts here now you can see on mine right there's no there's no uh washers in in behind here like your man had whatever that was about washers this side all right which you would have anyway but i just i don't like this i think it looks cat and the the bolt there and the nut it just looks a bit i don't know it looks like brake blocks off a mountain bike so uh we'll see can we do something a bit better so as i said we'll get it off and the first thing we'll do is we will uh do a paper transfer I want to incorporate some sort of a bracket that will come back just to hold these hoses that when you're on the road and the suspension is moving on the front that the, the hose won't be hitting off the mud guard and you end up with this. And that's what that's from. So we'll get designing anyway and uh, see what we can come up with. Right, so the mud guard off. I took off one of the brackets and uh, I left it all bolted together here so the holes are, you know, where I need them. So, take a piece of paper, it can be easy to do now with one hand. I'm just going to That'll get us a start anyway. Right, hopefully that'll work for yeah. you. Turn down them idiots. Now look at These are mudguard brackets at the end of the day, so they're uh, But I just want to show that like you know he spent all that time and pricking around with presses and this and that and other and they just looked like garbage when he was finished I'm just checking now that my holes are in the right spot which they are now so do a bit of uh, measure now these are six mil holes That's them. Now, just very quickly, we are going to get the holes for the top. I'm just going to trace them through there like that. Get a rough width. I will do a bit of measure now because I want to make some changes. Um, the reason I put this piece on was because I was afraid that with the mud guard just bolted at the bottom here. That if uh, I don't know something stone or whatever came up and got because I have the tire quite or the mud guard quite close to the tire because that's the way I like it and I was afraid that it had moved so this was the idea of this was to lock it all together that it couldn't move so um, we'll make it all out of one piece this time 
Now, the only concern I have is that I had to space this down here uh, when I did it because I was afraid that under full compression that this would hit the the bottom of, you know, where your dust seal is uh, under full compression. So I just spaced it back a bit that it wouldn't. Um, so I'm just wondering now what way to do it. Just eyeball the centre of them holes. Which is, you know, I don't see nothing wrong with eyeballing them. But yeah, I'm left handed as well, so. Myself and the balls have one thing in common. Right, so there's our kind of centre line. Now, we go here and we'll go down. My math is always shouting at your man to get something round. It's 25 mil washer with a 6 mil hole. You line it up in your crosshairs. If you want to call them that. Same up the top here. around it, likely. I always like making, you know, Dell, he starts off great intentions, uh, starting to do a template, and then he kind of gets bored halfway through and decides, no, not doing that. And he just starts winging it. Which is why everything he does looks like shit. Okay, now I want to just bring these up here. So I need to make a decision as to what I'm going to do here at the bottom. So we've just there. That's the general layout. That's where the holes are. So. What I'm trying to figure out now is what I'm going to do here at the bottom. That is what I'm trying to figure out. All it really is, is just a piece to lock, lock them together, that's all. Okay, so I have an idea, instead of just using a straight bar like that, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a piece out of lighter stuff though. And I'll kind of dish it around, 
I'll show you this now in a second. You make a piece like that there, that dishes around and it'll bolt on up here, we'll say, there and there. So it won't be as agricultural looking as that is. Like that's just, sorry, that's crap. It looks terrible. If it wasn't spaced, it would have looked looked okay. But the fact that I was afraid of the the bottom of the forks hitting it, um, you know, when it comes up, that's why I, I spaced it out. Right. So what we'll do is we will get some material, and um, we'll uh, get going on making these brackets. And make these two pieces then. Yeah, that sounds like a plant.
of uh, put this piece, this strip here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that. Go in here, raise up the. Yeah, that's good. And it looks a lot better than the previous one because this doesn't have, you know, it's not as close to the rim and it's a bit neater looking. So, uh, what do I need to figure out now? I don't know, that might stay there. I'm not sure. I might. That might be something I look at another day. But, like, that's. Solid. It's one beef thick material and uh, it's just rinse and repeat on the other side and uh, job done. And I've used these all these fittings now even in on the back. So like, that looks a bit neater I think than the way it was. Here, it's hard to see it now. I might move the wheel. <clears throat> there we go. See it in there. Just a bit neater, I think. Now that side is not even bolted up, but you see the mud guard sits perfect where it should be. I'm quite pleased with them. If they're sanded down and painted and whatever, they'd be grand. Because the most of this thing is going to be black. Uh, these will be black, so I'll do them black as well. Frame will be black. Etc, etc. So, I don't know that, what you think of that now, but... <laughs> I don't know, it's much better than... Now, I know it's a different mudguard. It's a proper mudguard for a start that will actually do something. This mudguard's off uh, 
CB400, one of the Super 4s. Because I had one of them. And uh, I like the mud guard. And the idea is that you have your mud guard like this. And I wanted all this exposed so you can see it. So when you're riding along on the road, someone is looking, say, from a car or whatever. And as this is undulating up and down, the mud guard just kind of looks like it's floating there, I guess. It's, I don't like all this, you know, plastic down here. It's uh, it's not my bag. So, like, a bit of finishing work to do on them. Sanding and uh, get the match primed and painted and all that stuff. But uh, all that will be done together because of a pile of stuff to do. So... There you go, Matt. Don't know what you think of that. But, uh... <laughs> it's, uh... No, it's all done by hand. Like, you know, I don't have a linisher. Or I have the air file all right, but... I do find it, uh, even with the... The smoothest belts I have for it, I find it a bit violent. So... Bolting them all together is a good way to... Get everything the same, you know? I think. But, uh... There you go, that's it. Uh, just a paddy in the shed, messing around. We'll get you again in the next one. Bye bye.